Welcome to Travely TV. Today I want to take you to a place where you can learn about the culture and history of Vietnam. The place I would recommend today is the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. Here we have all the real data and photos. This is the front of the museum. There are many ancient trees combined with the scent of Kai Dai flowers. Create a quiet and relaxing space right in the heart of the capital. Now come with me to explore. In Vietnam, there are 54 ethnic groups. Each ethnic group has different customs and traditions. The ritual pole is at the center of the Thanksgiving festival. It is a pole for the ritual buffalo to be tied to and a universal tree that connects the spirit world with human beings during the festival. The top pole causes the wooden drongo bird to turn in the wind, which makes the other two drongo birds under the pendant leaf sway. Next is some historical boat simulation. In southern Vietnam, the river system is very developed. Therefore, boats were the most popular means of transportation at the time. This is also a suitable place for children on the weekend. A space of creative creativity with paintings and paints. These are famous paintings, molded, and printed in a very special way. This is a scene simulating a funeral of the Muong people. The funeral is the most solemn rites of Muong people. The role of the ritual master is consoling the dead, guiding them to come towards their ancestors, and officiating a great number of rites. The coffin, dug in a tree trunk, is put in the house of the deceased. It is covered with traditional fabric and suspended below it are items of clothing that are offered to the deceased person by their close relatives. The children of the deceased are in white behavior of mourning and the daughters-in-law wear red dresses. Every day, people offer the deceased food and alcohol. The myths, the epipy, and the genealogy of Muong people are recited all night long. The funeral traditionally lasted for 12 days. However nowadays it is held for a maximum of two days. Several rituals are shortened. However, the important rituals are still observed. Next, let's learn about the religions of the Four Worlds. The religion of the Four Worlds is very popular, especially in northern Vietnam. The system of spirits is imagined like an imperial court ruling the Four Worlds, sky, earth, water and forests. During the spiritual possession ceremony, spirits are invited to possess the male or fen the sacred world. To ensure the joy and prosperity of individuals and communities, participants are believed to be able to communicate directly with the spirits through the mediums. These ritual communications are usually theatrical performers to reveal the activities of encoded but also realistic. 
the possession ritual is an occasion for spirit mediums and participants to access to the spirit world and find a balanced sense and sublimation outside of ordinary daily life. Art paintings are everywhere. This is a very big picture of an elephant. It feels so real and sculptures. Let's refer to some models of houses and shared houses. Wrong house is a typical type of stilt house. This is a community house, used as a meeting place, exchange and discussion of villagers in the villages in the central highlands, or also a place to welcome guests, even though guests own family or village. The Hmong are well known for their hemp fiber weaving that requires a number of steps. After the fiber is spun into thread, it is packed into rolls and pounded in a mortar for half an hour. This eliminates knots and makes the thread easier to weave. Then the rolls of hemp fiber are boiled three times in water mixed with ash, and after each boiling the fiber is washed. Some beeswax is added to the last boiling to make the hemp fiber whiter, smoother, and stronger. Now the hemp fiber is ready for weaving. For their clothing, the white Hmong use hemp cloth that has retained its original white color. The black and flowered Hmong dye their hemp cloth in indigo blue and decorate it with batik designs. This ritual is called Lao Then. Lao Then or Lao Put is a religious ceremony held by a medium called Then. It is celebrated to pay homage to the Emperor of Jade, or to mark the Then's promotion to a higher ceremonial rank. In some places, Lao Then is presided over by a woman Then, and lasts an entire night, during which 5,000 lines of poetry are recited, relating the arduous journey of the Then army. The long poem is tinged with myths and folktales, reflecting the Tay conception of life and the world. Recently we have learned about the cultures of the peoples in Vietnam. Hopefully this will be a useful video for you. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the following videos.